In previous video, I showed you how to set up the .NET Core identity with ND Framework, and uh, by default, it uses the cookie authentication. In here, we can add uh, authorized attribute to top of the controller one and the controller two. Then unauthorized request, uh, which is not contained the cookie with correct value, will uh, block and redirect them to the login page. In this uh, tutorial, what we're going to do is uh, add the JWT to our project, then using it, authorize the client to access API controllers methods. I have already uh, created an account in this project and you can create an account by going to the registration. The home page is uh, serving by this method. Let's uh, put authorized attribute on it and make sure the ID framework is working correctly. As you can see, it's working perfectly. Let's see how we can install and configure the JWT. You need to add the uh, Microsoft ASP.NET Core Authentication JWT Bearer first. It will uh, take some time to restore the packages. Let's run the project. Now you can see it's uh, not going to redirect to the request uh, to the login page. And uh, because uh, now we have two authorization me methods, cookies and JWT. So we have to specific, uh, specifically say uh, which one to use. Uh, to do that we need to do some modification to the code and uh, let's do it let's create the jwt uh, middle uh, first This is the token issue endpoint of the JWT.
in here we take the username and the password from the request in here we uh, select the user from the users table now using the user manager we validate the whether the uh, given password and the user is valid or not now we add the claims so we can use them to get the user details uh, After that, uh, we return the token and its expiration information. Let's create a test controller to validate this. Let's uh, set the JWT, uh, JWT token options in the startup file. We need to have a, a random secret uh, key for this. Since we are going to use uh, cookies and JWT, uh, we need to set separate authentication scheme. So we can use the cookie or JWT uh, separately for authentication. Let's edit the home controller uh, since it's uh, in the web pages. I'm going to use the active authentication scheme as cookie.
for the test controller i'm going to use uh, this is as a abi so i'm going to set the active authentication scheme to uh, bearer um, so at the authentication it's not going to validate using the cookies let's uh, log into the system to check whether the issue is fixed Let's send some uh, request to the test control and check whether JWT middle is working or not. You have to add the token like this and here. Uh, okay, my bad uh, ports should be changing the postman. As you can see, uh, it's working, and uh, I'm hoping you successfully uh, follow the tutorial and configure the JWT correctly. And have a nice day.